Hi, I'm Cooper for Rack Robotics, and today we're continuing our series on assembling your wire EDM starter kit. In today's video, we'll cover threading the wire tool and do our first basic test cut. What we're gonna need for this part will be the wire spool holder and our spool of EDM wire. You're also probably going to want a lighter for this part. This will be used to actually part the wire before threading it through the ceramic wire guide. If we cut the wire instead of using heat to part it, we're going to leave a swaged out burr on the end that will prevent the wire from going through the ceramic wire guide. So we can just snap this on into place and then we'll open up our wire. And inside we find the VCI chip that's used to prevent corrosion during transport and storage and the wire spool itself. This is taped on the end to prevent it from unfurling during storage. If you've ever had a spool of 3D printer filament unspool on you, you know that can be quite a mess. Wire is even worse. It's much finer and as it starts to unspool and tangle, there's almost no way for you to recover that. So be very, very careful to not lose hold of this during this process. When I take the tape off, I always keep my thumb over where the actual tape is placed on there and you can see the wire has begun to come off. This really, really wants to unspool. I can't stress that enough. So I'll go ahead and put my hand over the other side here and remove the rest of this tape. I'm gonna make sure I retain that very carefully. And then I can place it up here on the spool holder. To show you the process of threading the tool, I've moved it over to this test stand. We're gonna start by preparing the wire for threading. In this case, we're gonna be using a flame from a lighter to apply heat to the wire. We then pull it to create a fine tapered parted section. You can see here the difference between wire that's been cut with side cutters and wire that's been parted using heat. This taper is going to be important for threading through the wire guide in the tool. Now that we've used heat to part the wire, we can then remove these covers from the front of the tool. We'll then take our wire and put it into the PTFE tube here at the top and feed it down. Once we can't push our wire any further, we know that it's between these two pinch rollers. From here, we'll depress the tensioner and feed the wire in through the wire guide. We can see here now that the wire has protruded through the bottom of the flushing cup. We'll then grab our wire, depress the tensioning arm, and pull it here. We can then take the wire and insert it into the recess in that first idler wheel. We'll continue pulling it around the tool, making sure that it is pressing against the tungsten carbide block. And then we can pull the wire around the second idler, making sure it falls into the recess. Keeping our wire under tension, we can then place it into the hole in the waste spool. Pull that through, maintaining tension the whole time. And then pull our wire forward. From here, we'll turn on the waste spool and allow it to rotate for a few rotations. By allowing the waste spool to rotate for a few rotations, we secure the wire onto the spool itself. And to break the wire off, we can simply move it back and forth. It's hard brass wire, so it'll break after a few times of that. We can then shut off our waste spool and reapply the magnetic covers. And I'm gonna to try to let you guys hear this. The wire should make a sound when it's properly tensioned. So we can actually go in here and... You can hear that that wire is under tension in this span. After threading the wire, we can then place the final cowlings on the outside of the tool and then move on to our test cut. You can see here that I've added a clipper screen to the Ender 3. This isn't strictly necessary, but what it does do is allow us to set easy macros and more easily configure the firmware on the machine. You can see that I've already added a three millimeter aluminum plate to the machine and I've secured it with these M5 fasteners. What we'll do now is fill the vat with distilled water, our dielectric for this cut, and we'll move the wire tool forward in to get ready for the cut. We're gonna manually position the wire close to the aluminum before we start our cut. That way we have less distance to jog over before we actually begin the real cut. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're just going to be cutting a 15 millimeter square out of this three millimeter aluminum. So we can move our tool down, move it over, 
You can see that it connected the aluminum plate to the alligator clip that we installed previously. This will be our connection to the EDM circuit. Now, we can take our distilled water and we can fill the vat, making sure that we submerge the workpiece and the tool. Now having filled up the vat and ensured that our wire is close to the workpiece, we can plug in the power cord and then hit start for the cut that we've designed. the completed piece. You can see we now have a square made out of three millimeter thick aluminum. I hope you found this tutorial video useful. If you have any further questions, please check out the Rack Robotics official Discord chat linked below. And make sure to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of cool wire EDM projects coming up. See you soon.